Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night, what is the time you're watching this video. I hope you all are doing well and wherever you are, you are safe. So, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you all are doing well. <laughs> this won't happen. So finally I'm back again. So, let's start. Microbiome forensics, there is two terms. What, is, what do you mean by microbiome? Microbiome is a microbial community which live on our body. Okay, it's on the skin, it's on the, you know, it, every part of the skin, inside the gut, everywhere, which is a very crucial part of our living body and our processes of day-to-day -day life. What do you mean by forensics? Forensics means a, an investigative study where, on the basis of biological samples, a conclusion has been created that what would have happened in the particular environment, in a particular body, and who would have came there, what happened earlier that it resulted in such a you know different problem right this may get three minutes okay please uh don't quote me in that because yeah I'm, I'm really bad in speaking everything in two minutes and if i speak that it will be so speedy that you won't be able to understand it so yes what do you mean by microbiome forensics together microbiome forensics together means Using the microbes which is in on our body, forensic investigations can be carried out. Yes. If I'm speaking, I'm letting some microbes out of my body. I'm breathing, I'm letting some out of the microbes, you know, from of my, my uh, the microbes which is on my body, inside my body, of the part of my microbiome, I'm letting them into the environment. If someone takes the sample from my nose, and if someone takes the sample from this particular airy region, then they will find that the genetic sequence of the sample which was found here and the sample which was here is matching. Yes. So this is what our human microbiome forens human microbiome is and the microbiome forensics is. So now, whatever a thief or whatever a criminal does to hide the evidences, he himself or herself was present on that particular place. So there is a 100% chance that they will leave some of their microbiome in that particular region or area, okay? So what forensic investigator can do, can collect the samples of microbes from this particular regions and they can collect samples from the suspected people and then they can do NGS, that is next, gen next generation sequencing technologies and they can see that if the DNA content of the microbes which was found from the area and the content which is found from the suspect's body is matching or it is not matching. Because you may hide DNAs, but you cannot hide your microbes because they are so tiny. They will be at the place where you have gone. Yes, microbial signatures. Each and every one has different microbial signatures. But it has been said, it has been studied that people who are living together can share their microbial signatures. So this can also be a problem. Suppose if me and my brother is living in one room, okay, and if my brother commits a crime, okay, if we are living for more than 10 days and if my brother commits a crime and the sample has been taken and as we both were living in the room, we both were the suspects and if uh, were both uh, samples are taken, then what can happen here is that I can also be, you know, I will be registered as a partner in crime because my signature also got registered until and unless I prove that I was not there in this place at that particular time. So yes, that is what microbiome forensics is. This is possible because of NGS, next generation sequencing techniques, you know, which has been evolved since very long time. And now we can uh, check genome of a particular species anytime we want to. We have to isolate the DNA and then we can give it to some personals who are doing this particular job or if we have the machine of sequencing then we can do the same. So yes guys, microbiome forensics is something uh, emerging. Uh, in India, I don't have much idea because when I read about microbiome forensics, maximum studies that I saw was outside India and not within the India. In India, the thing is uh, starting to emerge and slowly scientists are planning to do more research projects in the field of microbiome forensics. So yes guys, this is a possible thing. So now onwards, wherever you go, you don't think that you have removed all the evidences because you are not able to use, you know, delete your microbes. So yeah guys, so that's what microbiome forensics is. 
if I get maximum comments and like on this particular video, I will be making a full story and script of the same topic so that you can understand it more properly and in an interesting way. This was a simple uh, vlog sharing something which, uh, you know, a topic that I wanted to share. And I wanted to upload videos since a very long time and this came up in my mind. I have already read about it. I have uh, presented somewhere, uh, a review presentation it was. So yes, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and you can follow Science Share on Instagram. You can follow me, Speed Factor on uh, Instagram. Okay. And yeah, in every other videos, I haven't said who am I. I am Mithul Chitanya, a final year biotechnology student at GSFC University, Baroda, Gujarat, India. And I'm interested in various scientific topics and I keep exploring as much as I can. Now, whatever you would like to uh, understand in the next videos, Please comment down below so that I can, uh, you know, so that I can get an idea that what you want to uh, hear from me and I can make videos on the same. So thank you so much for watching the same video and you can follow out my other videos if you are new on the channel and, uh, you know, like uh, you, uh, you can subscribe to my channel because it's free, right? And uh, it will come into the, in, in your feed whenever I upload a video and I upload very uh, slowly at the moment. So you won't be, uh, you know, hampered by my videos every day. So you can also hit the bell icon. So thank you so much. Jai Hind. Good night. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. What is the time you're watching this video? Thank you so much. Bye bye. I hope that. This is a fun video, I'm not thinking anything new.